So some folks made some comments that uh, a lot of the examples I was doing at this stage with the Conway chained arrows, like four and five chains, had lots of threes in them. Um, and I didn't want to make things too cumbersome with big numbers. But uh, here's a few more examples, uh, a little belatedly, um, about um, the four and five stage chains where not everything's a three to kind of make a little more clear where the numbers go. So if you have three, four, five, two, we're going to expand that as um, the the X chain, the part that we just keep as a chain is the 3, 4, because remember the, the last two numbers are the crucial ones. Um, so we're going to take 3, 4, and we're going to repeat it five times. We're going to write it five times. 3, 4, 3, 4, 3, 4, 3, 4, 3, 4, in nested parentheses. And then <clears throat> there it's going to have a 1 on the tail of everything. So there's going to be four ones. It's always this number less uh, minus 1. Um, and so we're going to we're going to try and figure out what this means. So that's the first expansion. And the the arrow ones just can go away. And we'll see when this is a three, of course, that's going to uh, to do something a little more interesting. But this is already going to be pretty interesting and big. Okay, so that's just really just three, four. Okay, so now we've got a three chain. This is a number. In fact, it's three to the fourth. So I just go ahead and evaluate that. And that's a three chain. And that um, I'm just going to express, as usual, in terms of the Knuth arrows. That is three, um, a bunch of up arrows four, and so the, these numbers are always going to be in that slot. So the three here, this first number always ends up being the base of a lot of exponent, the exponents that are at the heart of this, at the, the bottom level of this, basically. Um, and the three to the fourth is how many up arrows, and the four is what you're using as the... Uh, the exponent slot of the Knuth arrow notation. Okay, so that's a really big number, except not by these standards. And then that gets evaluated and put into another 3-4-something. Oh, okay, that's familiar. That's 3 up arrow, that number, the 3 up arrow 3 to the 4th 4 of 4. And then that's going to get recycled into here, so we're starting to see uh, this, this repetition of recycling a Knuth up arrow into the up arrow slot. So that's going to be three up arrow, three up arrow, three up arrow, three to four, 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 four. So we're getting this nested tower that we were seeing before, but now just not everything is a three. And then one more time, um, and again, how many times that nesting happens is controlled by that five there. Okay, so we're getting three up arrow, three up arrow, three up arrow, three up arrow. So we're getting um, five types of exponentiation. The first one is just ordinary exponentiation, and then we're getting four Knuth up arrows recycled. Okay, oops, uh, that's not working too well, sorry. So that's the final answer. It's this nested tower of up arrows. Okay, so that's a that's three, four, five, two. So let's go on to something with a three in uh, the last slot. Let's say six, five, four, three. Okay, so the three is going to be interesting because that's going to be expressed in terms of two stuff, which we were just doing. Um, the 4 is not too large, so we're not going to write down 6, 5 too many times, but it's still going to be pretty substantial. So 6, 5 gets written down 4 times. The innermost one, just as usual, evaluates to an exponential. Okay, so now we've got a 6, 5, 6 to the 5th, which is actually not such a huge number, 2. Okay, wait a minute, we just did that kind of thing. We just did number, number, number 2. And what we figured out, if we just analogize off of this one, is this was the three went here and the four went here, and then we did a nested tower five times, if you count that last ordinary exponentiation as the fifth. Um, and so here we're going to do six, up arrow 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 six, six, and then five, 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 five on the other side, and we're going to do it six to the fifth times, which is what? Six to the fifth is. A uh, few thousand. Okay, so that's going to be a nested tower a few thousand times. That's just to unpack the inner layer. Okay, um, so that's going to be that number. Now that gets put into a six five two again into that third slot. Well, okay, so let let's just abbreviate something. Let's say n is this huge 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 number, which is a massively iterated tower of Knuth up arrows. Okay, and so what we what we've got is that it's that n put into a six five blank two chain, and then we'll put that into a six five blank two. Okay, so we're gonna take the six to the six to the six 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 six, and I, when I say two, that I really mean Knuth up arrows with the new the next number in the up arrow slot, which is massively powerful, more powerful than just like repeated exponentiation. And I'm gonna do that this many times, n times. 
with the sixes over here and the fives over here. Okay, I'm gonna do that n times, and that is gonna be that number. Okay, so um, whoops, just didn't erase that. <clears throat> Um, I didn't mean to do that. What the heck did I just do? This is just an old one. I was modifying this one of the three examples. Okay, there we go. So, <clears throat> just to abbreviate, let's let that massive number, which is a 66665555 based on n, let's call that m, and then finally, we do it one more time. And so the final answer for 6543 is 65m2, which is we do this one more time, we do this process where we do 6666665555. We do it m times. That m was the re result of doing the same thing n times, and the n was the result of doing that thing six to the fifth times. So I had to break it out into separate layers with some notations to make it even manageable to, uh, to kind of fit on the page. OK. So what if you do a four as a last input? Uh-oh. <laughs> OK. So let's, we're, I'm not going to do it quite as explicitly, but let's say 6534. Okay, seems innocuous change, but it's going to be utterly huge. Okay, so now we're only repeating the 6, 5, 3 times, but when we knock down that 4, it's a 3. Okay, so what do we got here? So 6 to 5 to 6 to 5 to 3. Okay, so that's very similar to this example, 6, 5, 4, 3 where we did the 666-5555-5 thing, the iterated Canuth arrows, over and over and over and over again, recycling the previous answer of one of these guys into how many times you do the next process. And now how many times do you do it? Let me go back here. Okay. So 6, 5, 6 to the 5, 3, very similar to the previous example, but you're going to repeat the process 6 to the 5, it turns out to be 6 to the 5 minus 1 times. So we actually sort of iterated that three times, the interesting part, the the recycle into the Knuth up arrow part, um, but basically six to the five times. Wow. Okay. That's just for the inner layer though. Okay. And then we do another six, five blank three, and we do this thing where we recycle uh, old numbers that are into the new Knuth up arrow uh, chains, and we do, the, do it this many times. Okay. So that's going to be the idea of six, five, three, four. That's getting pretty amazing. Okay, so what about a five chain? Okay, definitely we'll do a five chain. Um, we're just going to do a two on the end here. And let's just use some different numbers. Let's say nine, seven, five, three, two. Okay, so even with uh, just a two on the end, it's still going to be pretty amazing. Now, right at the start, of course, um, we just get nine, seven, five, nine, seven, five, nine, seven, five, three times. Okay, and then we're going to take that to a one and a one. So those disappear. Okay. Um, and so it's going to be 975, 975, and then already this is a decent number. This is a five of uh, quintuple up arrow uh, number, nine, five up arrow, seven. And now, hey, 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 this is a four chain, like what we were just doing here. But instead of having a three or a four as the last input, notice even going from a three to a four for the last input made a big difference in the size. Um, now that number is this huge number. Okay, so this guy, which I just abbreviated as dot, 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 that's the result of a four chain with an absolutely huge last input. And so we're going to do what we did for six, five, uh, four, three, two examples ago, but we're going to recycle that over and over and over and over and over again. Just like here, we did this, the, this process a couple times, but each of those was um, something where we repeated the towers of up arrows a huge number of times. That's just to get the dot dot dots, and then we use that resulting number as the most sensitive input for yet another four chain, which you have to do the same kind of process over and over and over and over and over again. Okay, so that's as explicit as I think I want to be about a, a somewhat arbitrary five chain. And notice it only had a measly two at the end. And you could always make that 3 or 7 or 12 or whatever. Uh, I like only using single-digit numbers, though, because, uh, uh, as usual, my rules are I'm not going to try to make these big just by putting in ginormous numbers into the inputs. The idea is that the, pr the process produces the ginormous numbers. So what we can see, I hope, here is, again, how a larger chain, the idea of Conway, is how a larger chain is expressed in terms of repeating the process involved in a chain that's one smaller and recycling the outputs to inputs 
over and over and over and over again. Um, it really is very, very similar to the idea of the fast-growing hierarchy, which is in just a couple later videos after I talk about Conway chains. Um, and I might make another additional video. Um, if you modify the idea of the fast-growing hierarchy, uh, the definition of that just a little bit, you can make that very, very tight. You can show that the Conway chained arrow notation is exactly um, a certain uh, group of levels of the fast-growing hierarchy if you just modify the base level of the, the fast-growing hierarchy a little bit, but not, not super essentially. Okay.